Hello guys, it's me, Summer Glyph here, that is not really here. Well, I'm here today to make a video about the Ren rework news we got some week ago, called by Muties, and we also have the one that's called Public Testing, Enchantments plus Month of the Mad God. So maybe we will get some spoilers for Month of the Mad God. I do not really like that Decker is releasing information about Month of the Mad God this early i think a surprise would be better but i think we can all guess what's going to happen the giveaway will be ending pretty soon it's the june giveaway that's late now so join that giveaway if you haven't i will pick the winners and i will start july's giveaway i think early tomorrow or tonight okay deck is saying velming velmers triton here with another update on the realm rework but first i like to address the elephant in the room and the question i've been getting a lot when can we expect the Realm Rework to release? Is Realm Rework coming during the Month of the Mad God? The honest answer is that no, it will not release for Month of the Mad God and it won't release until we feel that it's ready. So we won't be giving a release window at this time either. But you can look forward to more public testing sessions in the near future. But so now on to better news. Realm Rework has been steadily progressing since the last time we spoke about the Realm Rework. Many of you noticed we briefly mentioned by muties. We're now ready to share some more information about them. As many of you have guessed, by muties are powerful items that rarely obtain exclusively from normal enemies and encounters within a specific biome. Each biome, other than biomes in the rookie section, will have its own unique weapon ability or ring that will match the theme of the biome that they are found in. For example, the Haunted Hallows will drop a scarecrow themed pumpkin summon, while the Sanguine Forest will drop a blood themed katana. Maze of the Pumpkin FG. This maze has a decoy summon that will send out a large waves of scythes when enemies come within range. The duration of the summon is reduced when enemies get near it. And it looks like this. So it's a maze in this biome. Let's see. Do they use the ability? Okay. I'm not sure if the person the player pressed spacebar maybe it is uh, and it seems to be stationary then we have the bloodbath blade this katana has a special proc that sickens the user and in return increases the player's power based on how low their health is that's pretty interesting that's a cool mechanic so if you have low health you'll do more damage okay it looks like that interesting Adventures Scarf. As previously mentioned, not all biomes in the rookie area of the realm will receive an exclusive UT and instead they all share this one which is meant to help strengthen weaker players defenses. On ability use invisi invincible and stun for 1 second, heal 50 HP, cooldown 30 seconds, on equip 50 HP 5 speed. Although that's all we're willing to share today, rest assured the team is hard at work uh, creating this feature for you and will be sharing even more information in the not so distant future. Well, hopefully this is a good step on getting the game back again because I really want to play more Realm but I have no motivation and I'm looking forward to the Realm rework and well, I hope Deca really make uh, this a really nice update and I think it will get back a lot of players that have temporarily quit the game since well new dungeons can't really save everything something that may come to <coughs> month of the mad god this year is probably the enchantments i hope that this is true uh deca says this about the public testing with enchantments and month of the mad god realmers another week another testing session once again, you have the chance to test our upcoming enchantment system. Additionally, just like last time, Steamworks Hard Mode is up. Let's uh, also have a look on our Month of the Mad God items. The next season's battle pass and missions are also live and you can have your first look. The Month of the Mad God UTs are in the shop, but due to technical issue, they can't be enchanted yet. Additionally, dust can be found in the utility tab. 
enchantments and engravings. The first batch of items which you use the new enchantment system is here. These use a new type of consumable item called engravings, which are dropped from the hard mode steam hordes. These will be dropped using the selection chest system, so when you get this new chest you can choose which of the engravings you wish to receive. The list of engravings for this update can be found below. Iron plating armor increases the defense and puts on a hit heal onto them. Cogbolt spirit rings increases hit points and defense. Heavy hitter weapons increase damage and projectile size. The projectiles move slower but retain the same range. And another weapon uh, engraving decreases damage and projectile size, also increasing firing rate and projectile speed without increasing range. Engravings cannot be applied to all items, instead they will work with the select batch of UTs. So here we see the different weapons and armors that can get these apply or enchantments onto them. And applying engravings. To apply engravings you will need to farm a new currency called dust. Mm, yeah, farm more stuff I guess. This will eventually come in a variety of colors and drop from multiple dungeons. For now, the only type is green and it will drop from the hard mode steamworks only. The amount which drops can be increased by playing a seasonal character and you will enjoy a 50% bonus as a result. The enchanter will be able to apply engravings to any items you have on you or in your backpack which have slots. Important note, existing items for the list above will not have slots, only items dropped or forged after this release will spawn with slots. Well, I think this sounds a little bit complicated with the enchantments and engravings, but uh, yeah, I will be gone for the release of Moth of Mad God and we'll be back 18th of August. So yeah, I'll be probably making a video about everything that's happened when I get back. But we here, here have the Aspirants item set. With this upcoming season and Moth of Mad God players will be able to acquire pieces of the Aspirant set. These sets are made from a weapon, armor and four rings. These rings press, represent the different combat disciplines, stalwart, sniper, swift blade and magus. Wearing the weapon and armors with the rings will give you appropriate bonuses for that combat discipline. In addition, we are leveraging the new enchantment system to add more depth to these items, like the rings. Four engravings exist, matching a combat discipline, and these engravings can be applied to any of the aspirant's items, weapons, armor, or ring. When applied to a weapon, they will increase their damage and change the shot pattern based on which engraving is used. Armors gain a stat boost corresponding to the combat discipline, and rings gain additional effects. Players are free to mix and match it these engravings as they wish, but the rings can only accept an engraving of the same type. For example, the ring of the stalwart and only have the path of the stalwart engraving applied. These items will be initially available in the upcoming season's missions and then will be more accessible during Month of Mad God itself. A hero's choice BP and missions. With our current season ending soon, it's time to give you a first look at the newly upcoming battle pass and mission tree. Please keep in mind that some descriptions and titles might be missing. It's a testing session after all. And here we also have the campaign. And unfortunately I can't access these so I can't show them to you, but I guess they will show up soon in game. So that's all the information we have. Aspirant's item set will come for this month of Mad God, and it seems like enchantments and engravings are ready to also be launched for this month of the Mad God. I hope that this month of Mad God will be a good one and that the theme is good. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a nice time playing the game. I will be in South Korea for a whole month. Don't forget to join the June giveaway. I'll see you guys later in another video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.